Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial from Vinyl Four Decor. We're going to put a, uh, a new design today. It's a clock, so we're going to show some different things that maybe we haven't shown in some of our other videos. But you'll find a lot of similarities in this video, and some of, as you will, in some of our other videos. Now, I've already cut off the border, as we've explained in other videos. Uh, that border is there just to give us a nice straight edge. I've actually already put the design up where it needs to go for sake of time. I've already leveled it. I measured from the top of this white edge to the ceiling and I got it nice and straight and level, got it where I want it to go. I've held up my other piece here to just make sure I like where the whole thing's going to go. So I've already kind of done all of that. Uh, what I really want to show is just some more tips on how to install vinyl and some good ways how to put a clock together. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this down. I just held it up there to make sure that I like where the whole clock is at so I can step back and make sure I like it. I've already got it nice and straight. I've even taped the bottom of it. That's all done. So all I need to do is just remove the top pieces of tape and uh, just go ahead and put this on. So as with every design, and I haven't actually uh, done this yet, but what I want to do is I want to rub over the front of this. So that when I pull off the backing paper, it's going to come off nice and easy. So I'll just go ahead and pull this off. Be careful when you pull this off. Watch to make sure everything comes off the backing paper and sticks to that front transfer tape. So I'm just going to kind of pull this off slowly, just watching to make sure everything comes off. And everything really feels to be coming off fine. Rubbing over at first really makes this easier. But uh, every now and again, you get a pesky letter. And if I do, I'll just push down on it and it'll get it to come off really easy. But these are all coming off just fine. So, but you want to keep, be careful and watch it. You could easily tear a letter as you pull this off. This clock also has some very intricate designs around it, so you want to watch for those too. So, and yeah, we just pull that off. All I need to do is just grab my corners. This is a pretty large piece, but it's very easy to handle, especially as I have it taped to the wall. One thing is important is you want to make sure you have this taped all the way to the edges, so that's holding that edges nice and tight up against the wall. Just gotta pull that tight, set that back up in the wall, push these corners on, and then start the tape and just go right up the middle, just like that, and then go from the center out. And I'm just gonna do this first with my hands, and then I'm gonna take my squeegee and I'm gonna rub over it. And then I'm just gonna remove my tape. I like to take it off just so. I don't have to worry about it. And then uh, just make sure it's rubbed over well. You really only need to go over it maybe three or four times. Maybe just as I've just done there. And I'm just going to pull this off. I'm going to break it into smaller pieces. As I pull it off, I'm going to pull it straight back, not straight out. And just watch to make sure that everything sticks to the wall as it should. And this is kind of some rough texture right here, but all you need to do is just kind of push down on it as you pull off. Always be careful around intricate designs. Just kind of watch for them as you're pulling this off. I've got some really thin lines here. But you just want to push down, kind of watch as you pull it off, making sure it's all sticking nicely. But I'm going to go ahead and just pull all this off. I'm going to speed the video up so you don't have to watch all of this part. But I'm just going to just do it just as I just did, just kind of work in smaller sections. You know, if I'm having trouble with it sticking to the wall, this is sticking pretty nice on this texture. But if I'm having trouble with it sticking to the wall, I'm just going to tear this you know, into smaller pieces and just work in smaller sections if I'm having trouble. It also can help to kind of go in different directions and you can really kind of be very uh, creative when you're pulling this off if you're having trouble. But this is all coming up fine, so I'm just going to work kind of, you know, six or eight inch sections and just kind of pull this off. Again, just watching to make sure everything sticks to the wall. But So here's a letter that kind of lifts up. Just, just push down on it as you pull it off. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and just get this all pulled off here real fast. Okay, so now I've got all of that put on, 
goes on pretty fast, so all I need to do is just put on my second piece here. And as I've shown in other videos, what I'm going to do is on my stars, I'm going to just tear out the paper from behind my stars. Okay? This makes it really easy to put on your second piece. You could cut these out too, either way. It's always just faster to tear them out. So I've got my paper torn off from behind just the stars. And then that way what I can do is I can line up the stars. Now I'll always just kind of lick the back of the star and get it a little bit wet so that when I stick it to the wall it doesn't actually stick. And that way I can kind of adjust this as I put this up. I can get it nice and lined up. And then I'll just repeat what I just did. And I'm going to take the bottom of this. I'm going to take the bottom of this really well. I like to do the center and then my two sides and then just kind of connect it with some more tape here. But you want to tape, the, tape it well so that it's adhered well and then I can just take this off. My stars aren't really needed anymore because I've already got it taped into place. And so I'll just peel those off. They're just temporary to line up the other piece. And I'll just stick them to the back of that. But I'm going to do the same thing as I just did. I'm going to go ahead and rub over the front of this. And then just pull off the backing paper and install it just like the same. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this through since this is the same thing as what we just did. But do it exactly the same way. Okay, now there's are my clocks on there. I'm just going to kind of lightly go over with my hand just to make sure the whole thing is stuck down well and kind of pushed down in certain areas where the texture gets rough. But you want to be very careful with this. Your hand can uh, lift up a piece that potentially isn't all the way down, but just kind of lightly go over it and push down where you need to as you go over it. Okay, so there's my, my, uh, my clock's all on there. Now this is an actual working clock. You can see there's some markings here, these three little dots and, and this, this shape here. This uh, is going to go on the middle of it here and, uh, and be an actual working clock. Now on the back of this, this comes apart. This is your working clock. I've already got my battery in there and I've got my back here. So all I need to do is if, we, if you look on the back of this, I've got my same three dots that will just line up to that and fit nice and perfect. There's uh, a four different dots here, but all I'm going to do is use two different screws. So I'm just going to line that up. I've got my drill here. You notice I'm not using any anchors or anything like that. This clock part is not very heavy. It doesn't need any anchors, but if you want to, you could put some anchors in it. But that's all nice and snug on there. And then I'm just going to put this clock part on. There's, uh, there's two little round things in here that you'll notice that'll, that'll fit nice and tight on. You just got to line those up and stick those on. So there's my clock in place. Now, this is uh, one part that I want to show of how to put clocks on. Now, it comes with the, the nut on the front. Okay, I'm just going to remove that for now. And then there are your hour hand and then your minute hand. Now just so you know, these hands will come with a film on them to protect the finish of them. Just uh, remove that, that'll show the nice glossy black finish on both the hour and the minute hand. Now, when I put these hands on, the way that I do it is I stick the minute hand on first because the minute hand can only fit on in a certain direction. It has two flat sides to its circle. So I put that on first and I move it to the 12 position. Okay, and then I take it, then I take it off. 
And then I put my hour hand on. Now your minute hand fits on in one position and is held on by the nut. The hour hand, however, fits tightly over this white sleeve on the clock shaft. So you just want to push, point that to 12 and push that on just nice and tight, giving it a really nice tight push. And then that way, when I put back on my minute hand, and then I'll replace the nut onto it, and that's what will hold that in place. That way, as my clock goes around, it will always be pointing when it's on the hour, the hour hand will be pointing to the correct hand. So that's how you put on your clock hands, but here is my complete uh, clock. Now, with this particular clock, you can personalize it, and you can make it your own. Now, I'm going to put on just one picture and kind of show you how it works, but I'm using glue dots. So I'm going to put a few glue dots on the back of this picture. You could use double-sided sticky tape. Um, I would use something that's easily removed. Glue dots work really good for removing it. But all you're going to do is just kind of nicely center it inside this black area and just stick it on in place. And then I can put a different picture on each one. And really kind of personalize this clock, which is, which is really what makes it very fun. And it's easy enough, with the glue dots at least, that uh, if I want to change the picture, I would just remove it and you know, put a different picture up. So I'm going to leave this picture up because it was intended to go there. But I'm going to get some more pictures and put this up and then I'll show you uh, at the end of this video what the finished product looks like. But this is this clock and how you install it. Did it in about 15 minutes. I know I do a lot of these. But you can see really how easy it is and just follow some of these tips that I show and how it goes on. But I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. And uh, if you have any questions, always get a hold of us. We can always help out with your installs. Well, thanks for watching, guys.